creating a semi-log graph in Microsoft Excel. The semi-log graph is useful for plotting data where one set of values has greater variability than the other. In the following example a semi-log standard curve graph is plotted. For a standard curve, multiple samples with known concentrations are measured using a spectrophotometer Samples with unknown concentrations can then be calculated from the standard curve. Estimating analyte concentration in samples using the semi-log standard curve. The data table shown the concentrations of the standards. As well as their absorbance values at 500 nanometers, these have been measured in duplicate. The absorbance values for the samples with unknown concentrations are shown here. These have also been measured in duplicate. At the top of the table is a standard with a concentration of zero. Next is your undiluted standard at the stock concentration. Following this are standards that have been diluted to known concentrations. The samples containing analyte at unknown concentrations are shown in green at the bottom of the table. It is these concentrations that will be calculated from the standard curve. Note, the blank is a sample that contains everything except the analyte of interest. Here is a set of model data entered into Excel. We will now create the semi-log standard curve. The first thing to do is, Subtract the blank, background absorbance value from all of the other values. Create some additional columns to include these values. You can use the formula shown to subtract the value for the blank from the other absorbance values. You can then copy down the formula to the other cells. Repeat the process of subtracting the blank absorbance value from the duplicates. You can then calculate the average, or mean, for the duplicate values. You can do this using the formula shown. You will need to repeat the process of subtracting the blank absorbance values from the absorbance of your samples, as well as calculating their means. When you have done this, you are ready to make a start on plotting your graph. First, go to insert at the top of the page. Then select the scatter plot option. Right click on the graph area and choose, select data. Click on the tab marked add. For the x values, select the concentration values. For the y values, select your mean absorbance values. These are the ones with the blank already subtracted. Now you have the graph, you need to change the concentration axis to a logarithmic scale. Click on the concentration axis to highlight it, then, right click and select, Format Axis. In the Format Axis menu on the right hand side, scroll down and select, Log Scale. Highlight the axis again by clicking and then add minor, log, grid lines. To add a trend line, right click on one of the data points and select, add trend line. From the menu select, log trend line. You can tidy up the graph by adding a title as well as axis titles. You can also add a formula for the line. Do this by right clicking on the trend line and selecting, Format Trend Line. In the menu select, Add Equation on the graph. 
you can now calculate the concentration of analyte in your samples, either using the equation, or by manual interpolation on the standard curve. I hope this short video has helped when creating semi-log graphs in Excel.